don't think you can ship testicles in the mail. What's up, guys? We're welcome back to Adam the Steve. You want to see? Is that what you? <laughs> I mean, I've never tried, but <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Have you ever seen the? Have you ever seen the uh, show? Uh, what's it called? Between two ferns. Oh yeah, I love that. And he does. That's what he does. Yeah, that. it's the best. And that's what he does. That's that. what we're doing here. Yeah. That's what, but that's how he'll start. Every, he'll, every love, time he'll be, he'll be, he'll, he'll be, he'll be, he'll just look at the person. He'll be like, "All right, you're against women's rights. I get it." All right. So, <laughs> so good. Hey, welcome. And the person's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. That's the best. That's what, that's what I want to do. Doing. I know. Flamingos can't be pets, dude. Welcome back. <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> we had a really, we had an interesting topic the other day that we were going to really dive into. How long ago? Because I remember having a topic, but I got to paint the scene so I could recall it. At least, but we were, we were in his own. Oh, was it the retrograde? Oh, yeah. I was it? talk about yeah. that. <laughs> but we could talk about we're yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah. We're out of it. Look at the difference. Let's talk about the retrograde. We could talk about it. Yeah. We'll talk about it. All right. Or yeah. maybe like you said, maybe that, that we're out of it and, and everything that you and I had to go well, through. Well, I'll just tell a few things. I'll just, I'll just yeah, start. Yeah, you go first. So the retrograde was, what is it anyway? By the way, I think I looked it up and I tried to understand that it's like Mars is go, looks like it's going backwards yeah. and it's not actually going backwards. Right. Is that true? I can't explain it. All I can tell you is what I experienced. <laughs> well, there's something with the... I looked it up and it seemed... I did a quick Google and it was like, it looks like it's going backwards because all the other planets... You know when you're in a car and the car next to you starts going forwards, you feel like you're going backwards? Yeah. I think it's like that effect with the planets. Yeah. So every other planet is fixed and Mars isn't, so it looks like it's going backwards. Well, I can tell you what it does to me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Emotionally, physically, yeah. mentally, and spiritually, it fucks me up. Like, I think everybody. Think. Yeah. Look, as much as the people would love to pretend like the moon doesn't affect the waves, and right. yet we know it's a direct correlation, <laughs> that's exactly how Mercury in retrograde affects yeah. me. Each and every time. Yeah, and I think it's just... If you can think, everybody knows, I feel like most people like the placebo effect, everybody believes it. People know that the moon affects the waves, yeah. right? I think people believe that, right, generally? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though, with the Mercury and retrograde, right? So you and I are big believers, first off, in God and that we can, you know, look, we can baptize anything, right? Like, we're not going to let any hocus pocus, uh, you know, lucky rabbit foot walking under a ladder nonsense happen to us. But for me, and you tell me your experience, I experience it first, and then I'm like, oh, it's Mercury in retrograde. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not like sitting there counting the days, like worried about it. Yes. I don't live my life like that. But too many odd coincidences happen. Yeah. Then I'm like, something's going on here. And, and I'm out of sync. Definitely. And the cool part is that with the people I'm in sync with, usually we feel it at the same time. Like yeah. I would give you a call, be like, what the? What's going on? Or I'll be like, I'm feeling crazy. And yeah. I'll be feeling the same thing. Yeah, well, okay. So example, I remember I was going through, okay. I went through the thing with my apartment, mm -hmm. right? And all of the furniture being a mess. We could do and, through the tangible things. that right? are. And then you told me. I had a that bunch of air, shit. <laughs> yeah. My air condition started leaking. Your car. Nobody would, sh no one would show up for days. They couldn't fix, the guy, the guy was missing. Yeah. The, the maintenance guy, I called, I have his personal number. He would, he's on vacation. Yeah. And then my car battery died. Yeah. Then my picture frame fell off the wall. I saw that. And then there was one other thing that was insane. I don't know. Yeah. But it, the, those, uh, the same days, like within three days, it was just like back to back to back. And every time it would happen, oh, I was in traffic. The lights stopped working. It wasn't raining, nothing. I was with Justin. The lights stopped working like midday, like in the traffic jam. It was crazy. And I was just, I just kept saying, thank you, retrograde. Just like, what's yeah, going on? It was on? crazy. I mean, look, to... Even for me too. Like I, um, you know, it's a new world where everything is going to be texted to you and everything. Everything's on. Uh, my dear friends who are dentists, I got like three confirmations <laughs> on my oh, yeah, dentist yeah, yeah. appointment. I get there early. I want to see them say hi. They're not there. <laughs> 
and they and they said I called you the night before and canceled, and, uh, the, and I showed them there nothing. was no phone call. All I got is retrograde. Look, yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But when we make it through it, when you make it, it through it, yeah, you got out of it before I did. Yeah, it was almost like bringing it. We went together, sort of. A you bit. were you were carrying me. Yeah. But you know what was cool? This was our our like uh, official exit. You, you came on, we hung out. We got the sickest steak meal, right? That was the best. We had the best time. It felt like a celebration. Oh yeah, go ahead, keep going. And then and then we drove by. We were gonna hang out, maybe watch a movie. You know what I mean? Couldn't and figure then we it drove out. by. Yep. Yeah, couldn't figure it out. Maybe you'll go home, whatever. And then uh, we drove by a movie theater during COVID. And I was like, maybe we'll see a movie. <laughs> yeah. That was the best because it was like we were thinking about maybe we're coming out of the thing and we're like maybe we'll see a movie and then we drove by and we're like is it even open and then we go remember what was showing oh it was good. Ferris Bueller's Fear Day the, Off Bad Boys Two yeah and, it was crazy and we're just like what's going on what it year was, is this <laughs> that was a great line you had. it was empty. what year is this <laughs> it was empty we're like, what's that it was scary almost nobody's there nobody's at the ticket counter there's like no it was weird but it was great I gotta tell you this whole COVID thing really messes with my head yeah. What way? So, I love making people feel like I respect them and I honor them, and and I never want to make people feel awkward. But the idea that the second we we walk into a restaurant with no with a mask on, and the second we all sit in a restaurant, we take our masks off, yeah. and now we're fine. Yeah. But then when we leave, we all put our masks on. Makes me feel like I'm an idiot. <laughs> I know. I just and I'm kinda... playing some idiot game with people, and I don't like that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough to remember to even put it on because it's like you're, you don't, like it loses its meaning because you sit down to eat, and then you're like, oh, I got to put it on a walk. Uh, I don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> and yet I respect people right, so course. much that I realize that if I don't put it on, I look like the asshole. Yeah. But am I the asshole? I'm, I was just sitting yeah. two feet away from you. Yeah. You were fine with it because I'm sitting down? Yeah. And People, I ordered an it's appetizer? Like, it's like the yeah, the beef carpaccio eliminates... I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I think what was funny is like the moon and the waves... Yeah, people understand that, but they don't think it affects them. It's like there's something in the air or energy of the and the moon pulling you. And then with the masks, it's like does anybody not know anything about? You ever seen sneeze as someone sneeze and it goes everywhere? Ugh. It's like if you sit down, it's like they don't. Nobody knows how particles just go everywhere. It goes everywhere. There's not a six foot radius. I, I don't get it. If you enter a building, you're entering everything in the building. I don't get it. And yet I know people that have died of COVID. Right. So it's it's not as if I don't think it's serious right. or that I have no empathy. It's just that I feel like we've added some rules to it that make zero sense. I, know. I feel I feel bad for the whoever the rule makers are because like what are you supposed to do? You got like we're right. complaining we can't go to restaurants. You're like all right, put the mask on while you walk. Sit down, take it off and eat. We're like okay, right. we'll do that. And we're, and then now we're complaining about why are we even doing that? It's like they're, they're letting us eat. I don't know. I know. What are we supposed to do? What are you going to do? I'm trying to think of the last retrograde failure I had. I had a lot of things. Internet went down. Oh, God. That hasn't happened in a year. Internet went down. That's hard. Um, That's hard. That's how connected. Oh, you know what the retrograde did do? I'm passing the mic. Not really, because we're both holding mics. <laughs> Probably not the greatest expression to say right now. Go ahead. <laughs> but you had a really deep thought about basically let's let's put it under the umbrella of what are we doing right why are we all posting and and that you you really have stopped scrolling mm. and, and i realized that i've stopped too and i used to have this serious emotional um attachment to instagram that i don't have anymore right and you were saying how the new world the, <laughs> this world will be more like the old world where yeah. we're not living in phones. Yeah, I think because what I loved about it is what's changing about it, which was like the connection. Because everybody, when social media came out, there was so much backlash about, not when it came out, but there was always backlash of like, it's on your phone, it's taking you out of your life, but there was not enough said about the good of like yeah. how much it connects you with the whole world. And now people are up to that or whatever that word is, but it connects you with so many people you would have never met. But now everyone's been on it for so long. There's more users than ever. 
everyone's got thousands of followers. Yeah. Before it was like, I'd be crazy if I had a hundred likes. I remember we were talking about, it, I was like, I remember the day I hit a hundred likes on a post. It was insane. Now, yeah. now it's like thousands. And it's like, if all my friends have thousands and they're going on social media to connect, who are they connecting with? Thousands of people. You can't have the same strength of a connection. I agree. On that. It's kind of like, I feel the same way. And this is not a, a, a point of jealousy. I mean, anybody could just pay to do it. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm sure if I, entered it you and i could both get it within a month but um it's like the whole verify thing i've seen so many people that are verified that's like why are you verified? right it's strange you know, they got the blue dot this yeah supposed this blue dot there's on houses now they have blue check houses have you what heard does that, that? Mean now? you can get a blue check on your house i don't know what it means i think an influencer lives there or something Ugh. it's ridiculous but do you know what I mean by Definitely, that? Like, yeah, so, it's just like, so, it's, and, and then there's a business it's losing in it. its I'm, meaning. That's kind right. of it's saturated. That's how I feel. And what I was saying about the losing the connection is like, I follow people. Like, right? I meet you. I follow you. Then I meet friends we know. Follow them. I, follow, yeah. I then I find the Rock. The Rock has amazing stuff. He mentions somebody on his podcast. I follow them. I've been following more and more people because I like their energy for years. So yes. now I'm following a thousand people. And then when I go to scroll, it's a, it's a lot of people. How am I going to keep up with a thousand people? I can't even keep up with the people I want to watch now. Point is people I want to connect with, I have to find through a different way. Cause I'm not going to connect with you through Instagram. I'll give you a call. Yeah. If I really want to connect with the rock. I'm not going to scroll my Instagram. I'll go to his page or I'll go to his YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he has one, but the point is the people you want to connect with, you're going to go find them. You can't just scroll and get connected anymore. I agree. Yeah. You're not going to see the good stuff you want. Here's scroll. the other thing. And it's not like, I feel like we're better than social media because it's a big part of our career. Right. And, and I'm, I feel blessed right. to have, our social media audience and, and yeah. to continue to want to grow it. Right. I, mean, I really believe in it. Having said that though, you think the rock scrolls <laughs> Instagram? No, he can't. What is he, what's he going to scroll for? He's going to go on. He's going to, you think Kevin Hart <laughs> scrolls. Instagram. You think Mark Wahlberg goes, you know, or does right. he just post? Right. Like I'm sharing my life with you, but do you think they really give a shit? No. And that's, I think Michael Jordan, <laughs> Michael Jordan doesn't have goes one. Goes like, you know what? Yeah, oh, he yeah. He doesn't even have one. He's never even fucking... Why would I use that thing? Yeah. Jay-Z doesn't have an Instagram. Same birthday. You have the same birthday as Jay-Z? Mic drop. That's... that. <laughs> Wait, so uh, I was going to say... And the thing that you were saying is... That may be the like, title. I still love it. That may it. be the title of, of this, episode? Of this <laughs> episode. I have the same birthday as Jay-Z. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they start the episode with flamingos yeah. and shit and then they don't... Yeah. Know, so. um, but I was going to say is I'm not even down on it either. I love posting because I love the connection it gives. I just think something new is going to emerge. Whether it's a live platform. There's a lot of live platforms. But that's what I like about Clubhouse is because it's conversations. Everybody loves this clubhouse. I, I don't, don't love know it why yet. it's bothering I don't love me it. so much. I don't love it yet, but I do think like this conversation could be live because we're doing it raw as we're doing it. So if we had an audience, it's almost like a free live audience or like an accessible let me, audience. Let me play devil's advocate if you don't mind me saying. You know what clubhouse has done for me? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Added more shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not going to sound nice. Okay. If anything, it pushes me away a little bit because, all right, you and I, uh, you're invited on stage, right? And, and now you're a speaker. And it's a, that's a wonderful feeling. And then you're hearing these other speakers and I'm like, A, why am I listening to you? You know, what happened is, is that I'm trusting other people to put these people on stage with me. And I'm not getting the chance, let's say, through Instagram or Facebook to vet them. Right. To understand why am I listening to their deepest and th you know, inner thoughts. And, and, let's, and have they reached to our potential? So right. Let's, so let's, not that we're better than them, but what if you're on with somebody that Steve can't dunk? Right. And is, but, but Teaching you're dunking. respecting, yes. But you're respecting whoever put them on the plat. You're respecting the person that invited them on stage with you. Yeah. So you're listening to them. But meanwhile, this person can't dunk. Right. I think, yeah, I, I agree with that as when we're like users. But I also see it the way it could go is like if you have somebody you like, just like I was saying with The Rock. If I follow him on Clubhouse and I see he's going live talking about spirituality or something, I would love to... to 
chime in and listen not chime in absolutely but, right but i think that's where we can be our thing is what i'm saying is like that's where i think it's a great thing is like if you say you know you know you go live on instagram yeah i love when people go live you go live you know i'd yeah. love to listen to what you say and i think that's, that's how i feel i think that's the beauty of clubhouses because live on instagram you're not this is this is the the key live on instagram if you're live no matter how much i love you it optimizes my phone i can't do shit when I'm on live with you, right. right? I'm listening to you, but like if I get a phone call, done. If I get a text, I can't even like text. Yeah. But on Clubhouse, it's just audio. So if I hear you talking about it, I can play it and I could let it play. I could play it in my headphones. I could let my phone do other things. It's not like sucking my phone, you yeah. know? My phone, I could listen to you and jump into your conversation, not even talking, but just listen to it. And there's something powerful about that. There is. Yeah. And yet, and this could be an age thing, right? I don't know how many people know, like, um, 44, 45, and you're 28. But like, I actually like the idea of like, if I'm watching you on Instagram live, A, I am focused on you and only you, and I get to watch your facial expressions mm -hmm. and how you feel about what you're discussing. While, you know, I'm the kind of guy where if I'm on Clubhouse, Right, and I'm looking at like a text or or right. going on Amazon. I'm not paying attention to a word. The Agreed. Person's saying. So I think that's where it's going to go, and I think that's where Instagram, because they steal everything, will probably steal the feature. <laughs> is that the clubhouse is just audio now? But if they do Instagram the same thing, is Amazon of social media. Mm, they just yank everything. But that's not even the right thing to say because Facebook owns Instagram. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook they steal everything. Is the Amazon, Amazon of social media of social media. That's, yeah, they just yank everything. It's gonna be them two at the top. Yeah, it's all about Facebook and Amazon. Bezos versus Zuckerberg. Who you got? Oh, that's so hard. And they're they're fighting. Uh, just boxing, no kicking. No kicking, just straight fists with gloves. And what's six his ounces? What's his name's on in the the Tesla guy? Elon. Elon he's flying somewhere. He's can't. Okay. He's busy. He's got a bald head, remember? Yeah, Bezos got the yeah, bald head. Yeah, so yeah. well, Facebook owns Instagram. Amazon <laughs> owns everything. Amazon. Put him in a box. You think I'll put him in a box? Amazon. He's a better boxer. Get it? He's a better boxer because he's in a box. Double entendre. Double. <laughs> and we're back, folks. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but what I was This gonna, is like a weird conversation. This for is us. podcasting. But, oh. But wait, so now Clubhouse, right? What I was going to say is that if they add the video component, imagine you can go in. And you could click to watch the video if you want. You have the option. Because Instagram right now doesn't give you the option. Yeah. It, it sucks. It, it locks you in. Clubhouse doesn't give you the option, but it gives you the option auditorily, audibly, audibly. Audibly. Is that the right? But if they give you the video option where, say, Mike Diamond speaking, yeah. you can go listen to him. But if you want to see what he's doing, you click. You just click his little I love button. I Mike, dude. Yeah, same. And, but you see his video doing it, right? So you can if you want. And I think that they're going to implement that because why not add video? Yeah. So yeah, you know, sometimes I hear myself speak and I think I'm like getting older and cranky, even though I love, I love all this stuff. I do. I love social media and I, I think clubhouse is great, but there's, there's some things that I just get a little like, eh. well, that's, I think is a good thing because that perspective shows, um, how the apps are being used yeah. by people who should be on the apps. You know what yeah. I mean? Like as a great speaker. So if you're feeling that way, you're going to think about how your audience is hearing you. So if you're, if you're thinking that, you're like, I'm not going to put my audience there because I want them to be able to see me. Yeah. So that's a good way for you to market yourself, you yeah. know? Because if you, if you want them to see you because you like seeing them, that's how I did photography. It's like, it's like you learn an art, you learn the podcasting. Is I love Joe Rogan so much, it, made, it inspired me to right. do it. So I provide the same thing. That's why I like the high quality. That's wonderful. So for you, if you, if you like connecting with their faces, then make sure, then you shouldn't do clubhouse yet. I, I, or well, maybe I've do gone it. on a few yeah. and then I start bowing out. And, yeah. and here's the other thing. And this is, again, I don't, I don't know if this is pride or if this is just how it is or just for me, but like when I'm hearing guys that are anywhere between 20 and, and 28, let's say, say that they're visionaries and they're doing this and they're doing that. And then I realized they haven't gone through half the experiences I've gone through, half of the pain I've gone through and half the success I have. Then I start going like, what, what the hell am I doing? Here? What are you doing? Yeah. And, th and then I, and that's why when I, when they pass the mic to me, yeah. I like saying how flawed I am. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. these kids are saying how amazing they are. Well, hold on, let me tell you where I fucked up. Yeah. Oh, that goes to the other point. You know what I mean? Like yeah. why? Are you, like that's some ego you have. Right. That reminds me of the other part of the social media that I thought was people were getting away from. We Go got ahead. so caught up in making things look good or growing your account, we forgot to actually do things. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, like on Clubhouse, a lot of people are trying to get on Clubhouse and grow instead of using all that energy to be a speaker or like accomplish things that's worthy of talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? And we can make, you know what, we can make this one big loop. Loop it. Are you ready? Loop it. And that's, that, and that's where I'm, I'm pretty excited um, for the end of COVID because I do believe all of us now have such are going to have such an appreciation mm. for human contact. Yes. Like I can't wait to go to live live concerts. Ugh. I can't wait to watch you speak live on a stage. Likewise, go, you know what I mean. I I can't wait to be with physical people and enjoy life the way we originally did. Yes. And then there was that time, this beautiful time period, where there was no COVID and social media was still taking over. I feel like it, this is a reboot. Yeah, definitely. Like social media has its place. I'm a huge fan of it. Mm -hmm. It's how I built my career. But this is a reboot. Yeah. Of appreciating life. And you know what? I just thought of another loop. Retrograde is a mini reboot. It is a mini reboot. Because There's you no have doubt to, about you it. You have to fight through this fucking turmoil for yes. a little bit. And that's what we were talking about during it. We're like, let's just, we're like holding on. It just felt like you're holding on yeah. for dear life. But if you stay present and don't shut it down, talking about like sobriety type things yeah. is if you don't suppress it and you feel all the retrograde yeah. you come out of it stronger but you some do. people, people want to just like lay down and let it flow over them but if you find through it yeah which we did we did and now look we're fucking higher yeah. than ever right it's true and that's a huge and you have thing. a great and you have a great appreciation for being out yes. of it yeah Right, hundred percent. Yeah, you have a more appreciation. You're you feel like you accomplished something instead of just like rolling over. Yeah, it's like getting through a really hard workout. Yeah, but it's like a six week workout. Yeah, well, how long are they? Fucking five, they're six? a little bit. It took a while, dude. This one, was, yeah. this was the longest one I've ever experienced. It was hard. It was hard. I'm trying to. There was something else that happened. Oh, I don't know. There's just car, so many car things, batteries, lights. Yeah. My lights went out. Something with my lights. Like I had to get new bulbs. Like you were doing really good though. It's this is interesting. I was just going yes. Yeah, but you were also doing really well in in relationships during it. So that's kind of cool. So like you started it, it, expanding so, in your, you know, extracurricular extracurriculars. So you got yeah, You got it. That's the thing. The female opportunities present themselves. Yeah. In all areas. Like Mercury in retrograde was actually really good for you. Or Everything. Well, yeah. It's always good for that. <laughs> but you know, it was good with the women. Women are good. Yeah. Women are good. What are they doing? What are we doing? That's how we started. I, uh, <laughs> what are we doing? So recap it. We got Mercury. We got Mercury. social media. Done. Masks and restaurants. Masks and restaurants. Pick a side. Pick a team. And what are we looking forward to? What are you inspired by today? Lot. We have a we have a lot to look forward to, you and I. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do more Steve and Adam stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the Hero Thirty Challenge. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Dunk Project, your thing. I think that's really exciting. Uh, we both have some phenomenal clients we're working with. I think travel's gonna open up again soon. Mm. I'd love for you and I to go to San Antonio and yeah. spend some time with Dr. Rob. Maybe even go to L.A. and uh, see Mike Diamond. Uh, there's a lot on the horizon. Yeah. That's the thing with these podcasts, too, is that in person, it's so different. It's so hard to have a Zoom call, you know? Yeah. It's so, it's so much easier. That happened to me in my recovery meetings, too, by the way. So many pe like, people are starting to go back to what we call meetings. Yeah. Um, it just so happens that the men that I love, respect, and admire since they're older are staying on Zoom. But I do miss human interaction. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, and the last thing people should do, start doing more. That's the that's theme yeah. of all of this. If you do more for yourself instead of trying to make it look like you're doing stuff. That's a really good point. Start doing it. Well, that's, that was really the... 
ammunition of your talk. Yeah. Of like that you don't really scroll. Yeah. That you're. I'm t- you, if you're doing shit like The Rock and Kevin Hart, they're doing too many things. Well, how? Not that they don't have time to scroll and relax, but like they don't need to make their stuff look so good because they just they're like, oh, I just killed a movie. Yeah. Post about that. That's insane. Or it's yeah. like they just gave an insane talk. Look at it. Yeah. If you go do those things, but there's so much energy behind that. You know what else I had to learn in social media, which is hard for me, by the way, because of the way I'm wired, mm-hmm. is that since people are scrolling less and living more and and doing everything which is probably a very healthy thing i was so used to i was getting a lot of attention on social media so i would share everyone that i loved and respected stuff yours loses uh, galad's double checking the camera yeah keep going i would share everyone's stuff that i loved because i didn't, I didn't want to be an attention whore mm-hmm. But now what I'm realizing is that people aren't even going to stories anymore. Like, if anything, just put your own stuff up there yeah. because people are not coming to my stories to see the people that I love. Right. And that's a weird feeling. It's for hard. Me. Yeah, it's definitely hard. I try to always put like a lot of value. Yeah. That's all they can. That's all they want. People yeah. just want you and your value. Yeah. I was going to say like a lot of value then like a, an occasional share. Yeah. But, the, and the other thing is this, this is a really good tip for the social medias out there that I, I think I've told you already, but it's like when you share somebody else's or if I, if you go to tag me, right. Yeah. Make it valuable for my story. Yeah. So for example, if you write, if you tag me, it's always valuable for me when we, we yeah. do it. Just you're just naturally at that. So my, my point is is like say you, I we talked about nutrition and then you you do a nutrition thing yeah and you tag me when I repost that that's good for my audience to see that oh, I didn't have to okay. post. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I tag you in something that makes you look good, then when you repost it, it's good for your audience. You're gonna want to repost it one because it makes you look good, but two, it keeps the train going of value to your audience. That is something that I should I be more fucking, aware about. If though. I post me and me doing something funny that has nothing to do with what you're posting about, yeah. and then I expect you to repost that, that's so selfish. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's going to interrupt your pattern. It's a double entendre <laughs> if I post something. <laughs> of nothing. Of nothing. <clears throat> if I... If I make something that you like, because then you're going to want to post A double entendre it. of wasting time. Exactly. <laughs> no, this is a good one. Double oh. entendre of value, because it's going to add to your stories, and then you're going to want to repost it. So I'm going to get my goal, which is I want you to repost it. What is a double entendre again? Double like entendre, teams? double meaning, yeah. Yeah. Double meaning. Double meaning. Something there. There's something about There's that something double that entendre. Right. Are there triple entendres? Only Jay-Z does it. Really? That makes sense. He said it in one of his songs. I think Big Sean might have said it in a, in a recent one too. Aren't Jay- you born on his birthday? Jay Z's, yeah. There it that is. makes that day a triple entendre because two doubles came out. Wow. <laughs> right. There's the day, and you're both born on that day. Yeah. That's three day. That's three yeah. things in one day. That's what also makes me believe in astrology to a point because sure, the, everything's a. This is the other thing. Everything's a fabric. There's no space. That's the thing with COVID. Everything's connected on a atom level. Not not you, me. Not you. I, but like I, yeah. the air, right? It's not empty. It has molecules. I get it. And so it's touching us, both of us, right? So yeah. how could we not be connected to? We're connected to everything. We're all connected. So we all have COVID. We all we all have it. <laughs> Oh, That's man. why I'm fearless. Cause They're like, going to take us off the air. <laughs> yeah. uh, these guys said everyone has COVID. That's what it is. I just... Look, you want me to Google it? It says right now, 100% of the U.S. 100% it says. I just Googled it. 100% of the U.S. has COVID. Look. At this minute. It says United States of America, right? Oh, North, boy. 100%, dude. As of today, March 7th. Even the Republicans? Let me double check. Yeah. You may want to double check that. Yep. Wow. Wow. He doesn't have it? Who? Fish. <laughs> it says no fish have no, it. What about Jay-Z? He's got That's it. That's a triple entendre. <laughs> <laughs> should we wrap it up? Should we end it? Have a good week? Um, yeah, everybody have a good week. This is my, our first podcast. First podcast of many? Of many. But many... If, what is it? A, we've had Adam and Steve, so this is just Those another are variation. Fun. Those just are energy. Fun. We'll just. This is just another expression. This is of just it. another expression of our energy. That's one thing I'm on right now. Let's end with our little uh, moods of the day, energies of the Go day. Go ahead. Mine is. 
uh, I'm being myself yeah. and all the things I do are just, I'm always trying to express it in different ways. Yeah. So don't have to, you don't have to do one thing because the one thing, let it be open to everything you do and just be your center. Well, I'm just, I'm very appreciative that you came over uh, today and I'm, I'm appreciative of where everything is. And so I'm, I'm in a, in a grateful mode. I'm, a, I'm in a lot of gratitude. Likewise. Yeah. That's, that's just how I feel. Always. Higher reality. Higher reality. Peace. Total. See ya.